Hi, in this episode of Redneck 101, we're talking about why we use two hooks on our limb lines. And there are several reasons. The, the biggest reason is sometimes we catch two fish at once on one limb line and that's really exciting. Uh, but there's some other reasons as well, so let's talk about them. We, the two hooks that we pick, we use a, a larger hook and this is a 10 aught. Uh, sometimes we downsize more like a 7 aught. But the larger hook, uh, we usually use bluegill would be our favorite bait on the big hook. If we can't get bluegill, uh, we use crawfish. And uh, we're going to begin experimenting with blue crab. Oh, let me get it. Don't let it get off. Oh, God, don't let it get off. Let me get it. Oh. Whoa. Praise Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, got a double. Two nice big channel catfish on the limb line. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh. Uh, for blue catfish. Uh, a little further up on the limb line, we use a 3 aught uh, Gamagatsu offset J hook. And this is a nice hook because it has a lot of different baiting options. Uh, we often use cut shad, which is an excellent bait. Sometimes we use shrimp, sometimes we use jello chicken. Uh, if we get the smaller bluegill, a real small bluegill fits on there well. It's thin enough that live bait like a minnow, goldfish, or small bluegill will live a long time. But it's also strong enough that uh, usually it'll, it'll hold on to a 20 pound fish without a failure. These smaller hooks are really intended uh, to give us a better shot at fish in the two to five pound range, more the eating size range than the, than the trophy range. You know, but once in a while, a 20 pound fish uh, ends up biting this smaller bait uh, rather than the bigger bait on the bottom. Let's talk about the line that we use. We use Power Twine set line. It's the 235 pound version, uh, the thick stuff. And once you've had your, your, your limb lines broken a few times, you'll move up to something stronger. But that presents a challenge when it comes to uh, connecting the smaller hook. And you might have a, a different smaller hook than you like than the one we use, but the smaller hooks usually don't have eyes uh, big enough to put the twine through it. So we have a couple different accommodations that we use. Uh, you could just use a snap swivel to connect the hook and then just connect the snap swivel to the twine. Uh, we can also use uh, split rings uh, that will simply upsize the hole in the hook to a big enough hole for the twine to go through. And this configuration is necessary because we prefer uh, to put the big hook with presumably the bluegill, sometimes the crawfish, we prefer to put it uh, at the bottom of our setup, you know, beneath the little hook and beneath the sinker. Um, the reason we prefer to put the big hook at the bottom of our setup is turtles. A lot of places that we fish for catfish have a lot of turtles and uh, putting the bluegill at the bottom gives it the most room to swim around and the most freedom to avoid the snapping turtles because one of the things that's important for us to catch catfish is the bait still needs to be there when the uh, catfish comes along so we don't want the turtle to get it first and what happens if you put the sinker at the bottom and say the hook next up the sinker constrains how far the bluegill can move and how fast the bluegill can escape and evade uh, the turtle uh, whereas even on the end uh, a nice big flathead is going to get it all right so that's our order now if you're in a situation where you don't have turtles or you can put the smaller hook on the bottom then things are easier because you know you can you connect the the big hook to the end of your your thick twine and then you just run 65 pound braid or something uh from the eye of the big hook 
down to your smaller hook and that setup's a little easier. So it gives us a lot of flexibility. Uh, we like to optimize our opportunities, any given limb. It's a good limb, it's in a good spot. Uh, we like to have two baits down there, one intended for larger catfish, one intended not to miss the two to five pounders who might be swimming by. Uh, gives us more bait options. I mean, some days the fish are just in the mood for cut shad. So if you've got a bunch of bluegill out there, you might not do as well if it's more blue catfish or more channel catfish in the neighborhood and they're preferring cut shad that day. So you get a chance of catching two fish at one time. Uh, gives us a chance at the bigger fish and the smaller fish and allows you two baits hanging from every tree. Good, good word, good, good word is a message from our God gonna tell you all about how to get to the kingdom. The good life. Written in the word, in the good, good word is a message from our God gonna tell you all about how to get to the kingdom. The good life. Oh, I, I love Jesus.